Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Carrier Deck, the newest game out by Every Single Soldier, which puts you in charge of a U.S. carrier's air wing and managing the flight deck in a very fast-paced, kind of fun and interesting game. Um, no Cold Waters content today. I may stream this evening, but no content today. I'm still working on the next video and how I want that to be handled. Uh, in the meantime, I don't want to just throw something shitty together, so I'm putting a couple of videos out, you know, the Carrier Deck video uh, to kind of hold you guys over. I actually think carrier deck and, and just kind of a casual playthrough like I'm doing here balances nicely out against the more informative lecture style of the Cold Waters videos, the direction I'm going with the, the Foxtrot and the Narwhal classes. So um, I hope this works. Uh, I didn't want to go three days without posting a video, and I, I did play this, and I thought it was a lot of fun, so I figured I would share the content. Now, with that being said, this is taken from a live stream, so you may be able to tell that. If that's the case, if that's not your cup of tea, certainly feel free to sign out now and tune in for the next Cold Waters video because that will be, while the video will be from a live stream, the audio will be, uh, I hope, interesting in discussing another class of submarines that, that participated uh, during the Cold War. Anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy my blundering about as a fleet commander in charge of a U.S. carrier, and uh, I'll catch you guys at the end. Thanks. With that being said... I'm going to go ahead and play it for maybe a half hour or an, or an hour or so and uh, just kind of sit back and relax. Now, we're in the middle of a campaign. Uh, we played through the South. Uh, the North Atlantic is kind of the tutorial. We played through the South Pacific, which was pretty simple. And now we're in the South Atlantic, which starts uh, making things a little bit more complicated. So we'll see how this works. You can see here our mission, and this one is going to be engaging enemy. Uh, it was either carrier or cruiser battle groups. Can't remember which. Um, but you can see here we've got. Uh, quite a few planes below decks. We're going to go ahead and get those ready to come above decks. we got to drop the elevators so they can get out there. We're going to go ahead and set a, our AWACS aircraft to air intercept. Um, and I don't have anything that's great for long-range naval intercept. So I'll just kind of start switching these guys over to, to tasking them with uh, naval missions. Uh, we'll kind of keep one plane probably over on this deck in, in cat reserve. It looks like we've got an e E3 coming in, though. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's a, like a supply, resupply plane or something, but looks like we will get another E3 uh, landing here very shortly. So you can see here we've got that coming in. We'll go ahead and get this E3 ready for takeoff. We'll go ahead and... Uh, whoa! Those two almost crashed together. Uh, we'll go ahead and get him up here so he can immediately start um, the... Uh, oh, wait. So we're going to have some F-18 Super Hornets in here as well. All right, cool. All right, so we've got the AWACS air airborne. We'll go ahead and get one aircraft, one fighter, and one... Uh, oh, God, I just crashed those guys into each other. And we'll get one fighter and one anti-ship uh, vessel uh, under underway or, or readying themselves. We need to get some helicopters up as well. All right, so we've got a super, I believe, coming in. Did I tell that elevator to drop? Um, land him. Actually, we'll go ahead and put this guy over here. So this is a Super Hornet. We haven't had any of those in the game so far. All right. Kind of slow in getting everything ready. This chopper's over here. Send this elevator up. And then send all these elevators. Ah, I gotta swap out the... Um, ah, you have to get the cargo mission going before you can get the... Uh, anti-ship mission going because of the way that the queuing system works where the furthest to the right mission always has to be launched before the later missions which I think is silly from a cargo perspective you're not going to delay launching a strike mission because you want to get a little bit of cargo off the ship but um, from a game design perspective I get it it makes it more challenging and a, a more uh, compelling game I suppose so and two uh, we need two fighters oh shit to deal with the incoming air threat it is coming slow. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... Let's go ahead. Oh, shit. I gotta get this guy off. Yeah, that ship's not gonna get destroyed. Good to go. I don't think anyway. Maybe it will. All right, I guess it did. All right, let's queue up an error. Good 
Lord. Deal with enemy sub threats. All right, so three plus one, I believe, means you need a uh, electronic warfare aircraft against Sting. So just getting these guys ready. What do you mean, dark side? Oh. All right, so we're launching the super. Good to go. Launching the rest of this naval strike. This guy's got to come over here. And carrier's taking damage. Great. Just landed one aircraft on top of another. Because I'm brilliant. And another plane crashed into another plane. Lovely. Get out of the way. Let's get the chopper up. Oh my god. We don't have enough aircraft to deal with all this. Sub's definitely going to come in before we can do jack shit about it. Half of our aircraft exploded on landing. The other half are still working on landing. Put them over here. So this... Ah, oh, fuck. Great. Well, I wasn't using Cat 4 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we need some surface-to-air guys as well. Oh my god, I suck. Fire on deck. <laughs> Uh, fire on the deck, fire on the deck. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, we suck. Alright, let's do this. Can we take the sub out at least? We're on the last... I don't know, it's not that expensive. I mean, the game's not outrageous. It's only nine bucks. I think it's, personally, I think it's, you know, a reasonable price, but everybody has their own price, right? So it's hard for me to say it's worth it or it's not worth it. Um, I'm, I tend to not be one of those people who's of the, you know, I don't know, I just, I think more games are worth it than people give than people give games credit. Oh, lovely. Uh, I wish I could mix and match air wings, though. Like, I shouldn't have to just send one class of aircraft. I've got a Super Hornet here I should be able to send. <laughs> uh, bumper cars. Bumper cars. Duh. Well, that was fun. Let's try and not suck this time, right? All right. So... Get these guys all working on that. Let's go ahead and get him working on this. This and that and this and that. How articulately spoken. All right. Let's get these planes up to the deck. I destroyed half my aircraft in collisions last time around, so that didn't help.
All right. Let's try this one more time, all right? All right. Okay, so get you guys to work. All right. I think the the rear parking spots are actually more beneficial, I think. I do think that the amount of like I shouldn't I get the game is to to is intending to model some of the confusion and congestion, but I also think it maybe does it a little bit too much in terms of just in terms of planes getting in the way of each other a little bit too much. Just in their in their pathfinding across deck. Alright. Super Hornets ready. What do we want them? Put them at the end of the deck. Oh boy. Don't get hit while you're moving over there. Alright, good. So we'll give him early warning. Let's give him the early warning mission. Get off the deck. I gotta get these subs up. Zebra four zero seven, mission ready. Goose five five two, mission prep. Raven one seven eight, request landing. Zebra four zero seven, call for launch. Good hunting. I actually need some more. Good hunting. Oh wait, I didn't see this guy. Um. Good to go. Good to go. Angel seven three six, mission ready. I didn't see the warship on the way. Don't think I've got those aircraft already souped up. Right. Get you over there. Get you off the deck. Another warship. All right, so we've got the three plane. We've already got the planes ready for that. That's good. All right, now we'll launch this strike. Which is here. Here? Let's not forget these guys. The one thing with this game is it's so fast paced, it can be very difficult to uh, think about what I should be saying from a stream perspective. Um, Badger, All right, we need one more. Angel 736 in for landing. Come on in, the carrier's almost empty. Good to go. All right, so that strike is off. Let's go ahead and get a sub detection mission out. All right. Some air defense, I think, is probably warranted. We need two of them at least. Got to get these guys down and ready for more warship hunting. Get him over here. All in the landing. Yep, he's good. Another hostile warship, and it's going to require... Th really? It's going to require three? Well, we're going to have to get the Super Hornet back up and running pretty damn quick. Deal with him right away. Alright. ESW mission prep. Both those guys, because that's the only the only problem is the Hornets are only good. The Super Hornets are only good for those kind of strikes. I'm gonna move him over here. Mm. All right, you here. 
here, and you just randomly frozen. All right. So let's prep this. Kingfisher 249er, mission initiated. Good to go. Kinger Eagle 03, mission prep. Jackal 272, inbound to landing. Yankee 244, mission initiated. Yankee 244, good to go. Launch one ready. Good to go. I will say, even though these later missions, pathfinding can be frustrating, the, uh, it sure is fun to launch some of these strikes. I mean, when you've got aircraft streaming all over the deck, that can be a lot of fun. Good lord. We've got nothing left on board. Okay. I actually think early warning for this boy might be necessary. Considering we have no visibility into what the enemy's launching at us. Victory, alright. Well, then we just gotta land everything without getting it sunk. Or sunk, without crashing into each other. Which is a big enough challenge in of itself. Oh no! God damn it, we had a perfect mission going! And cue the crashing into each other again. Here we go. Next one. Landing. And a crash. Oh. Oh. Managed to avoid it. Now, instead of the perfect mission, five stars, we fail. Because that's awesome. I was trying to get him out of the way as quick as possible. Woo! That was a close one. Whoa. So my main gripe is they've got a lot of cool kind of camera angles like this and the landing and the free camera where you can kind of go all over, but you never really get a chance to use them because of the way the game, the way the game works. It's so damn fast paced. Just get everyone out of the way. Like, okay, I get that it takes a while to retract your, your hook and get you off the line, but... There's no, it wasn't even possible. I literally clicked on moving that guy as quick as possible and it just didn't, didn't work. Four stars coming. Uh, would have been nice to get five there. I'm kind of a perfectionist in these kind of games. I didn't even see what the mission objective was. Was the briefing? Prepare to defend against counterattack. Diesel submarine attack fleet in region. Okay. So we'll have some Vikings, which are very good ASW platforms incoming. We've also got some other aircraft below decks. You were choppers on board, but the. Uh, Existence of those uh, Vikings, S3 Vikings, should make for a more effective anti-submarine group. Kingfisher 319er, ready for landing. That's fine. Come on in, Kingfisher. Sub out there. Let's get that Hornet on here. Need that Apex. Tiger 149er, ready for landing. Set you up for anti air. Move you over here. 
Read that. Oh, shit. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of uh, Vikings on board. I'll set one for NTC operations. And yeah, we'll just launch you from here. All right, so, so far so good. Things are moving slowly, but efficiently, I suppose. Claims we're supposed to be receiving enemy diesel subs, which I haven't seen anything yet. All right, land him, get him out ahead. Did I just launch a... I just launched an AWACS mission with that F-18. I didn't actually launch him against the target. Lovely. Nice. Alright. Move him over here. Okay, so this one is a little bit slower. I'm waiting to take the other... Well, I took the E2C off. Um, Tiger, request landing. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm assuming I'm going to get a whole fleet of diesels here soon, but... Uh, kind of waiting for that to actually happen. Maybe I should move this other chopper up here in case we run into multiple enemy subs that we need to... Okay, chopper, go over here. Mostly enemy anti-air so far. Well, let's get the other S3 airborne because it looks like the, the one we have out is about to, about to run out of fuel here. We get him airborne. Keep that sub picket line strong. Move him up here, immediately start getting him worked. Same for this Viking that's coming in, we'll immediately set him to ASW loadouts. Viking over here. All right. Off the wire, get out of the way.
All right, another diesel sub. We're going to send one of these F-18s up on a AWACS mission just because it's going to take us a little bit before the Viking is ready again. Okay, that sub was destroyed. It says zero waves left, so it must be... Close to the end? Wow, that was... I don't know, I feel like this mission was kind of a lot easier than the previous one. There's not anywhere near the number of sorties we had to have. And that made keeping the deck a lot easier. Or a lot, keeping the deck clean a lot easier. So, that's interesting, given this is supposedly a more advanced scenario, that this one would be so much easier. But, hey, I won't complain. Fleet Commander Master Chief Petty Officer, that's a mouthful. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Carrier Deck with the Historical Gamer, myself, talking about myself as a third person! Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a little bit of a late night stream, so there wasn't a ton of chatting, it was just kind of casual gameplay. This is a fun game for just kind of messing around, if, it, if you're not looking for something too, too groggy, it's not war in the Pacific, it's not even uh, cold waters, but it's an interesting kind of time management game where you've got to figure out how to most efficiently move things around and, and kind of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, overcome challenging scenarios. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. The first video had kind of a very divisive response. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, I know this was kind of pulled directly from a live stream, but that being said, I still hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to, you know, keep keep making content. I've got some cold water stuff that's in the in the works. I just had to take a little bit more time uh, to dig a little bit more into some of the historical facts around the boat, do a little bit of research. It takes a little bit more work than, you know, a video like this. So I didn't want to not produce any content for three straight days, but I did want to uh, at least, you know, put something, you know, put something you guys would enjoy. So I thought you'd enjoy this, but I also wanted to make sure that I kind of keep the quality high on those sub videos of mine. So I would say, I would say kind of look to see something like that where the cold water's content maybe a little bit less frequent uh, just because I'm, I'm making sure that what I am putting out there is of of use and uh, of good quality you know the two videos I did on the Foxtrot and on the um, on the uh, Narwhal were, have been very well received people seem to really be enjoying them I like kind of teaching a little bit helping people understand a little bit I may do some more specific videos to specific submarines I may do some videos that are doing some book reviews but I want to keep it really informative educational and interesting all at the same time uh, while playing a fun and interesting game. So um, with that being said, I, I don't want to completely abandon my kind of frequency of posting things. And I think Carrier Deck makes a nice balance. You've got Cold Waters, which is it's admittedly a bit of an arch arcade kind of sub sim, but the topics around it are, are kind of deep and heavy, and and the, the the lecture style is a little bit deeper, a little bit heavier. Whereas the gameplay, you know, is is still fun. It's it's a little bit deeper, but it's it's really pretty to go along with the rest of that. Whereas this is kind of just more casual, sit back and enjoy. So hope you guys are enjoying my stuff. Let me know your thoughts below. Until next time, guys. This is the historical gamer saying. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, step out.